down the sidewalk. Yeah, um, I want to come out and record this. Good job. Only thing I would say is that if you're going to have a complex this big and you want to keep tenants, you might want to try to like warn people ahead of time and give them the option, whatever, of moving out or something or, you know, or make kind of some kind of arrangements parking arrangements you know for everybody and we don't have that many people that are living in out here already if you if you a landlord or own pro own property or management whatever let me let me say this on the behalf of tenants have some consideration for other people on your property I mean you get some good bad people you get some good tenants and some bad tenants but have some consideration. And don't dog your tennis out. You know what I'm saying? Inform them. Have, have a better communication with them. You know what I mean? Just have better communication as far as, you know, letting people know if they have a construction, where to park at, you know, where to park at. You know, because we're having construction. They didn't even tell us that they was tearing up the sidewalk. And, you know, until the last minute. I don't know if I have any. I just had a little back entry just recently. But I could imagine somebody was in a wheelchair on a walker. And they had encountered some stuff like this, man. So what I'm saying is, you know, hopefully in the future. That, that, that people would understand. When you're on property, man, you got tenants, man. Give them consider, give them some respect. Give them some respect and whatever. Of letting people know because it's some, it's some bull, it's it's some crazy stuff, man. When you don't tell people what you don't, the plans are. And as tenants, they have a right to know. 
I've been out here for 11 years and they finally get into this building. I've asked for carpet over those 11 years about five, six times. And it was it's just that, you know, it's like it was like pulling teeth. These people who own this property, they got 30, they got 30, maybe 40 places throughout the United States and probably elsewhere. You know, they, 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 they charge regular market rent. And, and even with probably with 10, 20 tenants, probably even with, uh, let's say I have a 30 out of 400 is paying off, it's enough to income to, to generate the, to pay this property off. You know, it's just, it's just, it's ridiculous. That, you know, even regardless of a person's low income or high income, I think that they should, you know, they should do that. I remember when I first came in here, it's like, because I guess I was on a rent court to your rent. You know, I guess like you get the secondary treatment, whatever. I swear, man, if I ever own any property, man, I will never do people, I, I, I will never do people like that, man. I give the utmost respect, whether they pay me a dollar rent and the government's pay me a hundred dollars a rent or whatever. I, I couldn't do people like that. I couldn't do people like that. I couldn't sit there and so I just thought I filmed this, and I said they didn't even tell us that they were fixing the sidewalk. They ain't put no note up or nothing. And I, so I know if I know if I heard one one of my tent neighbors, he was mad. And I mean I, I mean I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you know it's bad enough to. Where are you supposed to park at for the rest of the people? And then when you go down at the end of the parking lot, they get, they made the speed bumps so doggone thick, you know, not not like the the smooth kind where you go go over the speed bumps, real smooth, and it kind of give you that edge. It's like these big, it's kind of like a block thing. So it's like they got a block. Then if you go around, they put the center block um, pieces, so they they call it such. So people won't go around and shit, shit. So it'll make you go over, over the humps, man. They do some scandalous stuff out here, man. And um, this area, it's not that bad, you know. It's not like it, it got, it had a high crime area. You would think the way they, the way they got it up, they got it's like a damn prison. For uh, uh, uh you know, it, you know, I know that, that there's, there's ways preventing crime, but you don't have to over police your damn property to the point like damn you, you know, it's not apartment complex it's a is a is an industrial apartment jail complex you know cameras and shit in, you know in the hallways and i can see what cameras outside to protect the property and, and people's property i just think it's just ridiculous some some things whoever making decisions who own this property man they just they don't give a crap about you know, as far as the poor, I guess they just make they want they, well, they get that money from the government. They could do whatever the heck they want to do. But anyway, this it, it's frustrating to be out, and you have to hear all the banging loud in the morning. I mean, and you don't know the stuff going through the hallway and, and anything. So what I'm what I'm saying is, if you ever own some property, just get on video. Don't do people like that. Treat your tenants with respect. Even if you do get a, a couple bad apples out there, that don't treat the, don't treat because somebody is low income or high income. Treat everybody as the same. You know, give them the same equipment, whatever. And I think that if you would, be, as a landlord or owner of property, you you will succeed. You won't have a high turnover rate as far as as far as tenants and stuff like that the problem it is that yeah you get some bad tenants that tear up some things and violate certain things but you get some landlords man they just they just tripping I mean they just some stuff is just unnecessary you know some things are just unnecessary that they do I can't tell them what they do with their property but it's just it's just it's just some of the stuff is just ridiculous it's totally ridiculous but yeah, they put in the sidewalk down there. I just thought I want to come out here and film this.
But it's just whatever you do, you know. I mean, you go out and it's just you know, you know, it's, it's so many of us now. And, and another thing about this complex, they call show management on these. And I don't know where they're out of. I, I think they got an office here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, they got properties throughout the country. But these some cheap motherfuckers. When they, excuse some cheap son of a bitches, I tell you that. I'm sorry to cuss. But they, they some cheap son of a guns. I say, you know, one thing about people like this, they uh, they know how they 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 get people a little so. Royal treatment, boy. I tell you, they know how to, you know, use a. I, I think they kind of like a, it's a little bit like white supremacy to get money from the government to, to, to fill up their pockets and and treat the low the, the low class like the low class and just put you whenever you hell to you feel like it. Um, I'm I'm just frustrated, man. You can't get no good rest here in the morning. You got all the banging going on. You know what I'm saying? And there's always some stuff, man. I, I've lived at complexes, man. God, man. They, you, you, I ain't never lived at a, a place that it, that constantly, constantly, unless you do your regular maintenance, you know, you know, coming in and, you know, switching things out. You know, every once in a while, you know, something goes wrong. Yeah, you know I mean, it's, it's just typical apartment wear. Every day, every time, it, it's, they, being on low income, man, they got put... You got to come and f sign and fill out something. I mean, every I mean, it's like, damn, give me a break. Give me have some peace. You got to come, come home. I tell you, man, if you if you able to get your credit straightened out, I tell anybody you got online, you can get your get your a credit and you got a pretty decent income. Get you a house, man, because it's a bitch coming to apart some apartment complexes and put up with they bull crap. Uh, they did this to another man. One time a man, something happened where the man, he had a similar situation where his blinds got bent. Do you know these these people that run this complex made him pay made, made him pay $100, also made me pay $100. And they said if I didn't pay it that at the time, that they was going to put me out. And I didn't really, you know, and what, and what do you do when you know you don't have anything, to, you know, no, no backup? plan whatever you know, and backup plan at the time I didn't have no backup plan and so they made me pay a hundred dollars so they do they look they do stuff like that here they set their own rate now the average person that maybe would damage some blinds whatever you know even if they even if it's section 8 they go like my, I have a friend of mine it, they charge that that complex charge them like thirty dollars fifteen to th maybe the most is thirty dollars for for some comp for some blinds, out here this this is what they do, and they charge you for in, in, anything. I mean, even stuff that's not you know extremely accessible, and it's not like this is some high class. This building where I'm, they just now get this thing is over fifty something years old. Every every time on well, since I live here, the plumbing is one. The plumbing is backed up really bad. The electrical, oh, I bet you. The electrician, they probably was shocked to probably see the way electrical system in the old system here is bad. And so now they got all of a sudden they got some money. They got some good money and, and paying all these different people to come out here and fix this stuff. Which is good, you know, for a tenant. But I just want to put that online for the future. If you ever get a complex and if somebody listens to this, do not do your tenants like that. Do not do your don't, don't make don't put your tenants through something like this where they got to come out in the hall hallway and it's crap got uh, crap all out in the hallway and they 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 saw and and especially if they in the old building because stuff is flying through the air and you might have some people man you know kids you know they come outside and probably with no shoes on luckily I I don't know if there's any kids in it now but you know how kids some people's kids come outside. With, with no shoes on, and they got nails and glass and God know what else that they trying to take out and put in there and everything. And this this my my management they don't think and between the man they ain't think about that shit. They don't they don't give a crap 
about that. So I just this is out of Columbus, Ohio. This is James Thomas. I'm gonna want I I can't move right away, but I'm gonna move eventually. You know, may, maybe within the next year or two to another to maybe somewhere else. Right now, I have to move it to due to my finances. I'm I'm just putting up with the little dumb shit here. But once I get my my finance, my credit, and two things straight now, I'm out of here, man. It's it's just been it's been hell on wheels living out here. Well, I tell you, and um. Yeah, they, you know, if you get big bugs, you, you you know, you, be, you better tell them. Because if they don't, and then you have to, of course, you know, have to exterminate, take everything out the ca cabinets, put it put it in the center of the floor, and they can come in there and spray for bed bugs. They might not, my, you, you not might be doing me. It could be some nasty neighbor or whatever. I mean, to just maybe someone brought in bed bugs or roaches. Because sometimes they, they, they travel in packs. But, um. I just wanted to get that this frustration out, man. It's just, man, it's just you have to go through this every doggone morning. It's just no, no, regardless of race, color, and creep, nobody should have to put up with no bullshit like this. It, it's just inconsiderate. It's inconvenient and and it's stressful to a neighbor. And where you should live at, regardless of your income, your environment, who you are, you shouldn't have to. No person should have to put up with no. No stuff like this, man. Don't put your tenants through nothing like this, man. If you want good tenants, man, if, you, if you're a property owner, man, do the right thing. Do the right thing. I, I'm just... Hang on. I just want to... I want to vent out. That's why I'm filming this. I just want to vent. There's some my neighbors... But it's just that that's some bull crap. That the way they do, way they, some of these landlords do stuff down here. Then they take it out on the good tenants. You know, they take it out on the bad tenants. And then you have some bad and some good tenants. And they so called try to get rid of the degenerate tenants. But they treat the, the bad, the good tenants that probably don't raise no cane. They, they mind their business. They try to do what they can to, to please and obey the doggone law here. And. And it's some bullshit. It's the bull crap you got put up with them. And uh, one one of my neighbors was complaining about he had a barbecue grill, right? And he it, it was a rate it so many feet you have to be away from the property. Well, he was away from the twenty feet five feet. As soon as he stepped inside, they took his bar barbecue grill and threw it away. But the, the people that live that, that's related to the management did the same doggone thing, and then he said they they ain't saying they didn't say a word. See, it's a, it's a double stand. It's kind of like a double standard, whatever. And of course, they probably have have their favorites and stuff out here of people that they do what they try to do, what not to do. And, and, uh, But I just wanted to vent this out, show you who these people really are, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take and show you what it, what they're doing. But uh, if anybody get this, you can hear my voice. If you own and run some property, please don't do, don't do, do your people like this. Whatever city, or state, you don't do people like what this owner, this management doing. Have some, give people with some respect. Give people with respect, man. Whether they're black, they're white, they're low, they white, they white, they low, they handicapped, disability, or whatever. Be considerate to, to, with, with your tenants. Be a human being, Jesus. And um, you know that's that's all I would say. Is be considerate, cause it, it, it this was not no consideration whatsoever coming. So I just thought I. I put that on, but I'm gonna show you this. Yes, they tore all that up, and like this, you know, tore all this up. I mean, there, there's some of the people that already moved out, it, but there's other people that know what was going on. You know, and, and like what the hell? You know, you know, used they they tried to keep they they so-called tried to inform us, unless it's something. 
whenever they feel like it, you know. But with the rest of us that's left in that building, I said, we had to go through all kinds of shit. And so I said, man, I'm, I'm going to show you this, man. He got, got these big old things, right? So they make sure you go over the hump and shit. So what I'm saying is, whatever you do, don't don't treat your people like this. Don't treat people like that, man. Yeah, this is what they doing, man. And it's frustrating. It's frustrating. You know? It is. But this is the apartment complex. I'm just letting you know the highs and the lows of living out here. So you come to Columbus, Ohio, you come across the, this, this, this this complex, I'm to give you the real deal. That's that's it right there. That's it right there. River Lodge Apartments. And um, that's, that's, that's the headquarters. They just put in that bus stop down here and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it, it has so much construction going on. They you got the street doing things. You got apartment communities doing things. Everybody, and I mean, it's like it's hell, man. Everybody doing all about 15 projects at once around 300 tenants, or whatever. 300 tenants trying to get out and go, you know, do their daily thing, go to work. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's freaking ridiculous. And, and I mean, it's, it, it's mind-boggling. So you find an apartment complex in, in the area, I pray that you do if you visit in Columbus and think about moving here. Find you a complex that, that management owners that got, that is more consideration. They got more concern for their tenants. And, and ask around. Ask ask. Ask people, they, you know, talk to people. They can tell you, let you know what's up and what's down. But this, this is High Street. This is Benson, and this is High Street. This is High Street. This, this, take you up the worthy thing. That'll take you down to, to the campus. All right then. This is James. I'm reporting from Columbus on this day, May 25th. 2017. Temperature is nice, nice. Almost 70 degrees. Take care.